What a nice day. Just walking out in the sun, talking into my echo recorder, hoping skags don't ambush me and break my gun into four separate parts before eating them. Oh, God! That is exactly what is happening to me! Ah! Oof. Skags ate their gun? No way to tell which one of the ugly things has it. Just start hunting skags and hope for the best. Talk to me, Angel. I need a vault hunter, and I need him yesterday. I found someone with great potential. His name is Zero, or at least he's called that. No one knows his real name, and... No, 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 no. Next! I, I hate those mysterious warrior types. You know, nine times out of ten, there's nothing actually special about them. Who else you got? Playing Zero surveillance footage. Slag, you freak! <laughs> Leaves falling from trees. Snow drifting onto the ground. Life leaving your corpse. Did that guy just speak in haiku? Evidently, Zero has been on Pandora for a few weeks. <gasps> I have satellite footage of him conversing with the locals. Roll it, Angel. <laughs> oh, look at this freak! Shut up, Zeke! What do you want? <gasps> Ninja guy. I desire a challenge. <laughs> By the way, your fruity ass talks. It sounds like you're plenty of challenge. <laughs> Can it, Zeke? <clears throat> Sorry, I swear it's impossible to keep that boy's mouth shut. You would consider it a challenge, then? Uh, I guess. This is intriguing. The vault, my masterpiece. <gasps> challenge accepted. Hopefully, you cut off his head! So what's this Zero guy doing on Pandora in the first place? I don't know. Angel, you got a brain the size of a planet, so don't give me oh, oh. From what footage we have of him, I can't even tell if Zero's human or not. Well, what, what, what do you mean, not human? He's a, a robot, an alien, what? I don't know. Hey, Roland, this is Zed. I thought you might want to know some guy from, uh, the Hyperion Corporation came by. Name of Blake. Sick he dealt with me during the black trap uprising. Anyway, he offered me a pretty penny from a place here in Firestone. Was real insistent that I take the money and run. Uh, it's probably nothing, but there was just something about it that put me on edge, you know? I'm gonna stay here for the meantime, though. I ain't no hurry to leave the shop. Roland, Zed, if you're receiving this, respond as soon as you can. Blake came back again today and showed me some faked pictures of New Haven. The city was burning. A lot of people were dead. Blake said his boss burned the place to the ground when everyone living there wouldn't move out. Of course, I know those pictures had to be faked, because you and the rest of your pals were holed up in New Haven, and you would have stopped those troops from taking the town. Right? I appreciate your offer to move into Sanctuary, but I got a lot of stuff here in Firestone. Uh, Sanctuary sounds nice and all, but Firestone's my home. I made my decision. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in the city I was born. Firestone. Attention, citizen of Firestone. Die. Oh, piss. Uh, on second thought, Rowan, uh, when's the soonest you can come pick me up? Guys, I've heard rumblings amongst the workers that our iridium mining operations are ravaging this planet. You know, I assume you're saying this because most of you didn't see what Pandora looked like before we showed up. You know what they called this place? The Badlands. It was a dry, dusty piss hole where dreams went to die. Now there's pipes full of beautiful iridium, technologically advanced machines, goddamn volcanoes. I mean, who doesn't love volcanoes? They're mountains that explode fire. That's literally the definition of the word awesome. Am I am I right? Angel, get this message to whomever's organizing the construction out in the Nexus. No matter what happens, make sure that old bandit town and fire stone, I think it's called, make sure it stays standing. That piss out with a rest stop is where it all began. Oh, and another thing. I want it on company policy that instead of Firestone, we're changing its name to Jackville. Really twist the knife for those bandit bastards, you know what I mean? I, I want those vault hunting sons of bitches to see what a dark of this place. I want it to stand as a testament to their failure. They couldn't protect New Haven, they couldn't protect Firestone, and they're sure as hell not gonna protect Sanctuary. I don't understand, Daddy. Say hello to your new home, darling. You're like
like a little princess. And this is your throne. I want mommy. Where's mommy? She's not coming back, Angel. No, get in a freaking chair. I don't want to. It's all good. There we go, in the chair. Okay, any candidates today, Angel? Huh. There are four huh. treasure hunters who arrived on a shuttle several hours ago. They are currently on a bus to Firestone. Great. Say this to them. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. The bus is still moving, sir. Shut up! Tell them! John, why have you dispatched one of our satellites to Pandora? What are you doing? Uh, but, uh, sir, uh, the energy readings my, uh, instruments uh, at home are getting from Pandora are... Get out of there at once, you hideous little code monkey, and shut off that satellite! Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Tassiter. It won't happen again, sir. Uh, sir? We've lost at least a dozen staff to the Angel's malfunctions. We need to shut her down. Your wife suggested as much before her disappe- uh, Jimmy? Please make a note. I'm strangling Mr. Morin for bringing up my wife. Choked? Mr. Morin? No, no, Jimmy. Choking is something you do when you eat too fast. As I'm crushing Mr. Morin's windpipe with my watch chain, what I'm doing is actually referred to as strangling. <laughs> please. Please. There we go. Anything else on today's agenda, Jimmy? And no. Thanks, Jimmy. Well then, <clears throat> drinks are on Handsome Jack. Why isn't this working, Angel? I don't... I've pumped every freaking ounce of iridium I've got into you, but this stupid key isn't working. Why? I I'm sorry, I don't know. You're a siren. You're one of a kind. Now make it work. I want that freaking warrior, Angel. I want him awake, okay? I want him under my control. Now, I, I want him now. Not later, now! Ah, da, 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 da. Now, now, Mr. Tassiter, blackmail. Such a dirty little word, isn't it? Actually, now I come to think of it, it's not a dirty word at all. It's kind of awesome. Blackmail. Say it with me. Back. Oh, go to hell, John. Just because you got lucky with your Pandora hunch doesn't mean... Because I was right, is what you mean. And call me Jack, idiot. You may have been able to scare the other directors into giving up their shares, but I know you. I know that beneath that ridiculous mask, you're still a hideous, pathetic little nobody. Mr. Tassiter, maybe you can settle up something for me. Do you know the difference between choking and strangulation? Sexual innuendo circuits, I hate them.